family on another road road trip. Uh, Thanksgiving is tomorrow, and we have decided to drive from Fort Bragg to Big Sur. So right now we are staying at a park called Central Park in Fremont, California. So we're going to be hanging out tonight and then getting up early tomorrow morning and going into San Jose for the Winchester house. So we are now here at the Winchester Mystery House. And uh, we're pretty excited. We're the first tour of the day, and it's Thanksgiving, and uh, pretty excited to see what's inside. Yeah, it looks really cool so far. The architecture is really crazy. It looks like it would have been a lot of work. It took them a long time. I guess they never stopped construction the whole time. Uh, from 1884 until her death in 1922, they continued construction on it. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Here we go. William Winchester, joining the family that would later produce the iconic Winchester repeating rifle. The Winchester rifle was innovative for its time since it could consecutively shoot 15 bullets before reloading. It was so popular that it was nicknamed the gun that won the West, making the Winchester family, including Sarah, her husband, very rich indeed. Despite this wealth, Sarah was not very lucky. She had one child, a daughter named Annie, who died weeks after birth of a rare childhood disease. Fifteen years later, Sarah's husband, William, died of tuberculosis at the age of 43, leaving Sarah a widow. The legend goes that a distraught Sarah sought guidance from a medium who told her that she was plagued by spirits of those killed by Winchester rifles. The medium told Sarah that to protect herself, she should move out west and build a house, continually building but never finishing it. The house's many rooms would shelter protective spirits, and the sounds of hammers, saws, and drills would drive unfriendly spirits away. It's said that Sarah purposely designed this house with its stairs to the ceiling and doors to nowhere so as to confuse the spirits that meant to do her harm. For 38 years, the sounds of hammering never stopped, and Sarah and her workers built room after room after room after room. Now it's your turn to experience the unique features of this house. finished the Winchester Mystery House and it was pretty cool. It's really cool. A lot of uh, intricate details inside and out. Uh, a lot that don't make sense but it was fun. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. We did not see any ghosts unfortunately. What if one came back with us? Winchester Mystery House. I just know. Take two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, I'm ugly yawning over here. There's <laughs> a <laughs> so big ugly yawn trying to hide up, lean forward. I got it. Right now we are headed to Monterey. We're gonna stop at Del Monte Beach. It is dog friendly, so we're gonna eat some lunch there. We're gonna beach. And then we're gonna we're be beach. driving around Monterey uh, for the rest of the day, seeing what's going on over there. <laughs> 